Hello there today, I'd like to look at the ideas of TCP, which maybe you've heard in the context of TCP IP and of UDP and how these are used in games like Fortnite. My name's Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. If you'd like to find out more, please let me explain. So before we dive into the details of TCP and UDP, let's have a quick look at some basics about networking. Now, networking occurs over a layered model. Now, sometimes that is a four layer model or maybe a five layer model or even a seven layer model. But the basic idea is, is at the bottom of these different layers, you have the actual medium by which the ones and the zeros are sent. So think about a piece of ethernet cable. There has to be a specification that says, this is what a one looks like. This is what a zero looks like. Now, once you get above that, you get to what's called the data or the link layer, and that talks about the sending of frames. So again, talking about ethernet, it can send a frame, which is a certain amount of data, and the link layer understands how to send frames and how to receive frames. Now above that, you get what's called the network layer. And the network layer first introduces the idea of kind of addressing and routing. So obviously when we're dealing with, let's say the internet, I want to download something from a website, that website might be on the other side of the world. So at some point, there has to be some routing that decides that this particular piece of network traffic needs to go down this path, across this fiber cable, over to this next router and so on. And that's what the network layer introduces. And I IP is the idea of a network layer and it stands for internet protocol and what it does is it routes packets from one device to another device. Now up until now all these different layers, the physical layer, the data layer, the network layer are all actually connectionless which basically means they just talk about how you send a packet without actually establishing a connection to a remote machine and kind of keeping it alive saying this is the data that I want and we're going to keep talking to each other like a phone call, you ring somebody, you call somebody, and then you're in a conversation with them. Now to get that actual idea of a connection, you need to go up to the next layer, which is the transport layer, and this is where we get to TCP, the transport control protocol that's run over the IP, the network layer, so it becomes TCP slash over IP. Now with the TCP, the idea is it's a way of establishing a connection, and then once you send things over that connection to make sure the data actually got there. So it might go something like this. One computer might say to another one, I want to connect to you, will you accept my connection? The remote computer will say, yes, I accept that connection, and here is some information about my connection back to you. Once that connection has been established, then a packet of data, in fact, a segment it's called of data, will be sent across that connection. Then the other end will say, yes, I received that, now please send me the next one. And they will keep sending back and forth this data, always guaranteeing that what is sent is being received at the other end. And that means there are three important characteristics. One is that the data you send is guaranteed to get to the other end. The second thing is the data that you send is guaranteed to get in the right order that you sent it. And thirdly, if there is congestion, if there is a traffic jam, then there is a mechanism for kind of rolling back and just kind of waiting for a bit and then trying to send the same traffic again until it finally gets through to the other end. And that's what happens when we use our web browsers. We might click on a website that tries to make a connection, let's say, to Android Authority's website. It will then say, I want this web page. Different data will get downloaded. And during this little chat, it's all guaranteed that what I've asked for is what I've got. Now UDP, the user datagram protocol, also runs over IP, so and it takes the place of TCP, so it's UDP IP, UDP over IP, and it's more like actually the network uh, layer than it is like the transport layer because it's connectionless. So what it basically means is you send out this data to a particular place, it can be routed across the world using the routing that you get in the lower layers, but the other end doesn't necessarily have to agree to receive it and doesn't necessarily have to actually acknowledge that it's received it. So this kind of data is just kind of sent. If you get it, well, well done. If you're listening, well, that's great. If you're not listening, if it doesn't get there, well, I don't care. I'm just gonna keep sending this data. So as you can see, it's very different to TCP. So that means there are three differences. First of all, it's you not guarantee the data is going to get there and any data that goes missing there's no way of saying can you please resend that again 
Secondly, because of the way routing works, data can go over different paths. Maybe one bit goes over a satellite, another bit goes over a fiber cable. They can actually get there in a different order. So you're not guaranteed to get them in the order that they were sent. And thirdly, if there is congestion, if there is a traffic jam, then probably most networks will just throw away the UDP traffic saying, well, this is connectionless. This is a best kind of uh, basis, you know, best effort kind of basis. We'll just throw it away and it doesn't matter if they don't receive it. So that's very different to TCP. Now, for example, if you've ever had a kind of a Skype conversation or maybe a conversation in the other voice kind of services, you may have a moment where the other person seemed to drop out for a moment but the conversation still carried on and all you got was just you know, a blank bit of the conversation. It didn't pause and then carry on where it left off. Actually, there was a dropped out bit. And that's the difference between TCP and UDP. If it was just that there, there was a pause and then the conversation carried on exactly, that meant there was a control moment going on where it was saying, oh, I dropped that. Can you give me that back? That bit didn't get here. It got here in the wrong order. Can you? Whereas if it's UDP, it just says, well, here it is. Here's what the guy is saying. Here's what the person's saying. If you get it, you get it. If you don't. And of course, actually, it remains up to us at a human level to say, oh, sorry, I, I didn't quite get that. Can you, can you repeat that, please? Now, when we get to games like Fortnite, you actually find that both protocols are used. First of all, TCP will be used to actually establish connections to, let's say, one of the online worlds that you're in, to get information about that world, to get information about the players that are in that world. It's there to, as a control mechanism. But when the game is actually playing, there's going to be lots of UDP traffic, which means there's going to be lots of just like, this is what this player is doing, this is where they're running, this is where they're at, this is their coordinates in the world. And if you drop one of those packets, well, that doesn't really matter because there'll just be a slight glitch, a slight jump in the, in the gameplay. So that way they're able to send lots of data about all the different players that are going on on a kind of a best effort basis, but it's not essential if you don't get every single packet during the uh, exchange, except for when an event occurs. So for example, if someone exits the game, if they're beaten in the game, then that needs to be transmitted through a control protocol so that you absolutely know that person is no longer in the game. It wouldn't be fair if, you know, someone of them got beated by, you know, beaten by another player and then the other ones, a couple of other ones still saw them playing because they missed that UDP packet. That wouldn't work. You need to have a guaranteed mechanism. So you get TCP, for the guaranteed stuff, for the setup, for the control, and UDP for all the stuff that's going on in the moment while the game is actually playing. So there you go, there's a look at TCP and UDP, two different ways of sending data over a network. One is based on a connection, guaranteed to get there. The other is connectionless. If it gets there, well, that's jolly good. If it doesn't, well, it doesn't matter because another packet coming hot on its heels that will contain the latest information that you need. Hey there, my name's Gary Sims, and this is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this quick look at these different control protocols. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and well, um, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.